What's up guys, Harsh here, back in the video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can print any type of character on a LCD display. So I have here a 20 by 4 LCD display and it is connected to the I2C circuit board right over here. So I'll be using the I2C because it makes the connection a lot more easier. And this also has a built-in potentiometer so you will be able to adjust the brightness of the LCD screen as well. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so here is the LCD display on its own. So this is without the I2C circuitry or whatever. So this is a stock LCD that you will get. And if you want to buy the I2C circuit, it is sold separately. So this is the mini I2C board over here. And as you can see that it has a built-in potentiometer. So you will be able to control your in brightness. And over here is a backlight on off jumper wire so if you want to keep the backlight on yeah, then you need to keep that jumper in place but uh, if you take the jumper out so as you can see it is now not connected so the backlight on the lcd will not turn on and it will just show the characters but uh, it will be very dark to see so let's connect our lcd to the i2c circuit so this is the i2c circuit and i have soldered some pins on this side and uh, some pin headers over here so this will be a pretty easy connection so you just line it up just like so and then just place it in just like that so as you can see it is a pretty simple connection and make sure that you place it in the correct orientation so if you place it like this then this will be the wrong condition and if you want a compact size then you can just place it beneath the board so you need to make sure that the pins are on the outer side of the display and then just flip the board and then just place it right over here so this way it will have a more compact design but in this condition i'm just using the standard layout and then just putting it over here now on the i2c board you can see that there are a total of four pins that are scl sda vcc and ground so we'll connect all four pins to the arduino so let's first connect the sda pin and this will be connected to the analog input four of the arduino so here is the arduino and i will connect it to analog 4 then i will connect the scl pin to the analog pin 5 of the arduino so analog pin which is the last pin on this side right over here and then finally we will connect the vcc to plus 5 volts output of the arduino it is right over here and then the last pin which is the ground pin will be connected to the ground of the Arduino. So once the connection is run you can just bunch up these wires and keep it nice and clean. So now we can go ahead and program our uh, Arduino but uh, before we do that we need to make sure that we have the right address for this LCD. So these LCD tend to have different addresses. So first we need to check what address this LED is and then we can go ahead and start printing stuff on it. So let's go to the computer and see how we can do that okay so this is our i2c address scanner so this is the code that we'll need for detecting our lcd address so we'll just go to tools our board is arduino you know you have to select that and then we will select the com port which is com5 in my case and then just click on upload so once the uploading is done we can go ahead and click on tools and then open up the serial monitor and this will detect the address of the LCD so as you can see the detected address is 0x27 so copy it or remember it whatever you want so we can go ahead and close this code up and then open up our main code this is our main code as you can see so we have added the liquid crystal library with the i2c extension so I have also given it in the description you can check that out and then here are the character arrays so we have a total of four for each individual line and you can edit them as you like so in these places you can write whatever you want or whatever values that you want to print and then in this line you have to change the address the actual address of the LCD so in my case it was the 0x27 so I have written over here 0x27 now we have selected the number of rows and columns over here so we have it is written as 20 columns and 4 rows then in the white setup we have uh, first turned on the backlight of the LCD and 
by default the cursor will be set to 00, 0 so it will print the first array from the 00, 0 position and then you can set the cursor to 0, 01 0, 02 and 0, 03 to move on to the next lines so our first array will be printed at the 00, 0 position so it will not need any set cursor command but uh, for the second array we will be printing in the next row so we will set the cursor at 0, 01 and then it will print the array 2 and similarly the condition follows for 3 and 4 uh, once your desired text is typed we can go ahead and do the same process select our board and com port and then just click on upload okay so if you have done everything correctly at this point the lcd should display your characters right away and there might be no need for any modification whatsoever but uh, let's say your characters weren't printing on the lcd so i will advise you to recheck check the address and make sure that the connections are good especially for the analog 4 and 5 connection might be your potentiometer is set way off so let me just show you what it will look like so i will just turn the brightness to almost nil so as you can see right now no text is displayed over here and uh, the potentiometer is at its limit for the counterclockwise rotation yeah there it is so if i move it clockwise the text will slowly appear on the lcd so as you can see and if i keep turning it on the lcd will go i don't know what it is but uh, it is whatever so just uh, make sure to turn it down and keep it where you are comfortable with it so right there I can really see the text very nicely indeed so there you guys you have successfully printed your text on a 20 by 4 LCD display so thanks for watching the video please like subscribe and share